Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I am still crafting for Halloween because I'm just not ready to start Christmas crafting yet. I'm still enjoying the season so we're going to keep rolling with that. I only have two that I want to show you today. They took a little bit of uh, time to make so I was only able to get two in the video. Let's get going. We're going to start out with some batting. I have needle and thread and some stick pins because I sew by hand. If you have a sewing machine, by all means, break it out. I'm going to be using just the boot as a template and we're going to trim that boot out or trace that boot out onto this beautiful witchy pumpkin is what it's called witchy pumpkin fabric from joann's you guys saw me use this fabric in a previous diy i used it in one of my busted canvas um, pieces the round one that i made with a twist because i didn't really use canvas at all so that is this fabric and i'm going to use it to make some witch's boots witch's boots do not have to be black they can be whatever color you choose and i think this fabric is perfect for this diy so i'm just going to lay them down the way i want after i fold my fabric inside out i'm going to lay the boot down onto it and trace it out in pencil and then i'm just going to get that cut out and while I'm doing that, I'd like to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for this video today. To all my new subscribers, oh my gosh, you guys, welcome. I am so blessed and happy to have you here. Thank you for choosing these Cute and Crafty. And to my ride or dies, you guys know I love you. Thank you for tuning in each and every time I upload a video and for commenting. I love you guys so much. So back to the video. Now that I've got everything traced out, cut out and sewn together. I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it with that pillow batting. We're going to make two, of course. So we're going to just copy it, do the same thing. And I have some black felt and I'm going to use the black felt to make the witch's legs. So you can sew this together if you want to. I'm just going to hot glue it. It's going to be fine. It's fine. Um, and then I'm going to stuff it with some pillow batting as well. You guys make this however you want. Fat legs, skinny legs, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to do some skinnier legs. I'm making this a little bit longer than I need because I'm going to fold it over. And you'll see when we get to that part what I'm talking about. So for right now, we're just stuffing it with the batting. This came out uh adorable my goodness you guys I can't I don't know I don't know if this is my favorite or the other one is my favorite you guys are gonna have to comment and let me know which one you like I I love them both I can't choose I just can't so now that I have my legs my little bony skinny witch's legs stuffed with the batting I am going to tuck them down into that boot and I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way around the leg and after I get that done, I'm going to go back with some of that really cute orange and black bat ribbon. I picked that up at Joanne Fabrics, I do believe. And I'm just going to um, go around the area where the boot and the leg meet to cover up my stitches. Just going to take a piece of that ribbon and wrap it around. And then I'm going to take another piece and make a shoestring bow. And I'll hot glue that to the leg. So how have you guys been doing? I have been crazy. And you guys, if you've watched my channel, you know why. You know I'm in the process of getting married this month. And the countdown is so real right now. It is October 2nd. And my marriage date is October 27th. And it's it's getting really, really real. <laughs> I'm still trying to craft for that. I've got a few things I need to stain. I know I said I, I would show you guys, and I will. I'll still show you. I'm just, I'm juggling a lot right now, but it's fun. It's stressful. It's fun. It's exciting. It's all of the things. So you guys, now that I have my legs done, just going to add a little bit more batting in this one just so that it matches up with the other. Oh, those boots are so cute. <laughs> if they made them for real, I probably would buy them. I probably would, because I'm quirky like that. I would wear them. I don't know where, but I'd put them on. <laughs> so 
So now that that's done, break out your ribbon of choice. We're going to set those boots aside and we're going to make a whole bunch of little bows or I don't know. It looks like messy bows. So these measure six inches long and I have all different kinds of ribbon that I thought would be beautiful for this and some of that deco mesh tubing and I'm just going to stack these like you see me doing and take a pipe cleaner and twist it off a couple times and then I'm going to fluff them out and I ended up making about 20 of these because I want this project to be nice and full and you can twist them and turn them any way you need to. So you guys see this little piece of wire wreath form? It's left over from the Moon Cat DIY that I did. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. This is a piece that's left over from that and we waste nothing. So we're going to use it. And it's going to be like the little skirt or the little tutu for the witch. It came out super, super cute. And you guys, if you want to um, take a wreath form and cut it up, I think you can get four. If it has eight sections, you'll get four of these little tutus. If it has six sections, of course, you'll get three of the little tutus. But isn't that cute? For $1.25, you can get either four or three wreaths from it or door hangers. Yeah. How's that for savings? You can get either three or four of these, depending on the size wreath form you have when you cut it out in sections of two. Absolutely money saving. Nice little hack for you. So now that I've got my tutu all filled out, my little witch's skirt all filled out, I just took the little witch's legs and I tucked them underneath that wire wreath form and pulled them over the top of the wire wreath form and then hot glued them to the top of the leg. And now I'm tying them off as well with some jute cord just to make sure they stay. They are glued and then I'm going to tie it right on top of where I glued it. These legs aren't going anywhere. Just fluffing it up a little bit. Cut off the excess jute that you don't need or just fluff it up so you don't see it, whichever you want to do. And we're going to set these little cute legs aside and we're going to work on the next part of this DIY. There was three sections. We had to make the legs, then we had to make, had to make the tutu, and now we're going to make the sign. So I just have a piece of cardboard. You guys know I love my cardboard and I just cut it out. I think that's like a 10 by 10. And I have masking tape to mark off my lines and I have black chalk paint by Hello Hobby. And then I have the Acrology. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Um, it's orange paint from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to mark off my lines and get everything painted. You guys can paint this any color you want. I chose these colors because it matches everything else that I'm doing. And I'm drying it because it's not completely dry and I want to write on it. So we got to get it dry. And I just wrote, welcome, my pretties. I did that in pencil and now I'm going back over it in my acrylic markers. And making everything nice and dark so that you can read it. Doing my faux calligraphy that I enjoy doing. And now that that's done, all I'm going to do is take my um, little spider here. I've been using these a lot too. And I picked the purple one because it'll show up pretty against the orange. And it's one of those rings that come in a pack from Dollar Tree. It's quite a few of them in the pack, like six or eight or something like that. And I think it's eight, four of each color. I'm going to cut the piece off that is the ring. And I'm just going to hot glue the little spider down to the sign. I'll hold on to it for a little bit. It keeps trying to pop up, so I'm just going to hold it. And once that's done, I'm just going to take um, an eraser and clean up any of the pencil markings that you can see. And then I am going to attach my little witch's legs to the bottom of my sign using 
22 gauge or 24 gauge paddle wire, black paddle wire from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to make little holes. I'm going to find a piece of the wire wreath at the top and make a hole above the wire and below the wire or yeah, the wire, the wreath, so that I can then take my black paddle wire, thread it up and down, in and out, however you want to put it, through those holes, and then it will secure my cardboard sign. You guys can see what I'm doing, making the holes bigger, and I'm just going to thread that wire through the bottom, going to do three spots, one on each side, one in the middle, thread that wire through the bottom. And then when I place down the witch's legs on that wire form, I'll just pull that paddle wire up over the wire form and down into that second hole that I made and twist it off in the back. Now I have one of these witch hats. I've been dying to use it. And I got this from Dollar Tree. It was the only one I saw left too. Um, I was hoping they had some other colors, but I didn't see any more. Ooh, almost knocked my little table over. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to cut off a little bit of that um, stick because it's way too long for what I need. Now, this is a very thick piece of cardboard, so I can gently really be careful about pushing this down into the corrugation of the cardboard and I don't have to glue it. It will stick, but you have to be careful because you can very easily push it through the front of the cardboard and mess your sign up completely. You'll have to start over because you'll rip into your words. So if you don't have super thick cardboard like I do, and this cardboard came from a box that a television had come in, just to give you an idea of the thickness of it. Moving on to DIY number two, I have this black cone that I found in my stash. Uh, at some point I was gonna do something with it, but it is super old, but we're gonna do something with it today. I have these florals and they came from Walmart. They were three, 89 or 98, probably 398. And some scrap ribbon, um, the last little bit of my ribbon from Joann's. And then I have these fat quarters and one is Maleficent and one is Jack and Sally from Twas the Night Before um, Halloween. And I picked those up for $1.77 at Walmart. I picked up that bat for 97 cent at Walmart or 98 cent. Again, another spider, and then I have all these wood cutouts, and we'll figure out which one we're going to use. I actually didn't use any. I used the bat instead. And then I have some solo wood flowers that I painted gray. Of course, I have some trusty cardboard because I love it so. And I have some gray felt and Mod Podge, which I will not end up using. So I'm going to take my piece of cardboard. Again, this is probably about a 10 by 10 inch piece or 9 by 9, and I traced out the felt circle that I need and I'm going to take this ribbon spool and I'm just going to use it to get my center hole cut out. I'm going to make a donut because we're making a witch's hat you guys and she is cute. Love her so much. So we're just going to cut that out. Oh and again what I was saying about the thickness of the cardboard in the previous DIY if you don't have really thick cardboard like that and you can't stuff it down into the corrugation or push that um, wood skewer into the corrugation, just hot glue it to the back. It'll be fine. So I'm measuring out the um, hole to see if it's big enough for this cone. Yeah, this cone is kind of weird because it wasn't really the ideal for a witch's hat when I made this, but we're going to make it work. So because it sits on a slant and that's not what I want, I am going to cut some little pleats or some little strips in the bottom of it because that is going to allow it to sit straight up and down the way I want it to sit. So I'm just measuring it out, cutting them, looking at it, seeing how I like it. And now that I have that cut out and it's sitting straight, I'm going to take my fabric and this part was not easy. I was like, how do I cover this cone? It's already made and how do I get this on here? Just kept messing with it until it looked the way I wanted it to look. Just placed it down and smoothed it out and looked at it. And I kept doing it. And finally, I just said, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to make it work. So if you guys have a better way of doing that, please comment down below and let me know how you would do it because I struggled. 
and the fabric was not quite tall enough or long enough. So I had to add a little piece at the top for the point of the hat. And I added a little bit more because I wanted the hat to be twisty and bendy at the top like a witch's hat would be all crumpled over. So I added a little bit more to get the effect that I wanted. Adding a piece to the front and the back of that point. I'm just going to hot glue that down. And now that I got that part done, then I went back in with my fabric and I'm just folding it and smoothing it out the best that I can. I don't want it completely smooth because I decided at this point, um, I wanted it to be kind of crinkly and just like old. So you see me bunching it up. I'm going to hot glue it bunched up like that because I want it to give it some more dimension and a little more character. You guys can do your smooth if you want, but I changed my mind last minute and decided to bunch it. So I'm just going to add a strip of hot glue and then I'm just going to push it up into that hot glue and make it crinkle. Any excess fabric on the bottom, I'm just going to hot glue it down. I'm just going to scrunch it up and hot glue it just the way it is. If you don't like this look, you can absolutely cut off the excess fabric, but I'm keeping it. And it turned out absolutely amazing. Just trimming that little bit. I said I was keeping it and then I trimmed it. <laughs> I kept the majority of it. I'm just trimming off that little bit so I could stuff it down into the brim of the hat. So now I'm going to put my brim back on, push it down, stretch it out. Get it just the way I want it. I love this purple and gray together. The colors work very well. Just checking it all out. Making sure it looks the way that I want it to look. And we're going to go back with our piece of cardboard because we, I want it to stand. Why am I talking in the third person? I don't know. <laughs> I want it to stand nice, straight, and tall and have a good solid um, foundation to stand on. So I went back and got my cardboard and I'm going to just hot glue the felt to the cardboard. And before I add my, cut my hole in the center and add my witch's hat, the point of the top of the hat. I want to add a little bit of ruffle around the brim of the hat. And if you put the point in, in the hole first, how are you going to do that? I mean, it can be done, but isn't it easier if you can just lay your circle flat and not have to worry about smashing the point of the hat? So before we add that back in, we're just going to do a little ruffle all the way around the hat. And of course, I don't have any more of this ribbon. And I ran out. And I'm going to show you what I did. Look at that big spot right there. Yeah, I'm completely out. I don't have any more. I got a little piece of um, ribbon, but it doesn't really match, so we're not going to use it. So I am just going to add a bunch of sparkly, glittery leaves and flowers and things like that, pumpkins, and you will never be able to tell that there is no ribbon underneath all of that. And that is how we covered that up. <laughs> Just looking at everything, checking it out, making sure it's where I want it to be. And those little black glittery leaves came off of the flower bundle that I got from Walmart. I bought it specifically for those black flowers. I'll use the orange ones later in something, but the black ones were what I was after. So I took some jute cord and wrapped it around the wire stem of the pumpkins just to give the glue something to hold on to. It holds on to the jute cord much better than it holds on just that thin little piece of wire. So that's why I wrapped the jute cord around the wire, just to give it some thickness and give that hot glue something to adhere to. And I'm just gluing down all my pieces, using a little bit of ribbon and 
some leaves and pumpkins, flowers, just gluing it however I want it to whatever looks good to me. You could do more, you could do less, you could add purple if you have purple. I just really wanted the, the black and the white and the glitter. So this is why I decided to use the um, bat and not the wood letters. I really liked how it looked on here. Um, I like that big pop of black. It just pulled everything together. I didn't want to have to paint um, any of the wooden words. This is the final DIY, both of these together. Love, love, love how they came out trying to get up close and show you all the detail of the hat you guys if you made it this far in the video go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up like share comment subscribe do all the things that make my channel grow leave me a witch's hat to let me know you made it this far talk to me in the comments love you guys so much until i see you in my next video be blessed stay safe and craft something beautiful today you guys bye